Vincent Moray from Cambridgeshire has come to the den, hoping to tempt the dragons to invest in his steam and easy sauna product. Hello there. My name is Vincent Moray. I'm the entrepreneur for the product Steam and Easy. Have you ever come home from a hard day's work, frustrated, stressed, and just need to unwind and relax? I have an easy solution. Steam and Easy is a retrofitting unit which connects to your existing shower cubicle. It's easy to install and comes with step-by-step -step instructions. The kit comprises of a steam generator, a cradle, the essential oils, exfoliating sponge, and the mixing bottle. The oil is mixed in the mixing bottle and poured into the unit, plugs onto your, onto your shower cubicle, and then within three minutes, the steam is generating. Now, if you can't have one of these fitted into your shower cubicle, we can put one of these into your garden. Now, the unit cost is £50 to build. The selling estimated price is £189. These units are easy to install. As I say, they come with step-by-step -step instructions. But if you cannot install one into your premises, we can provide a fitting service for you. The shower cubicle. This unit represents a shower cubicle, which is a typical one that you'd have in your premises in your home. There are other type of um, uh, units that you can actually fix to. As I say, the unit, as you can see there, is starting to steam. With the effect of the LED lights in there, gives you the uh, holistic experience. Because this, this product is unique, it isn't in the market yet. I have the patent, uh, I have a patent pending for the, uh, the design. I also have a trademark, Steam and Easy. Now, if there's any more questions, I'll thank you for listening. I'll be happy to answer. Vincent has made a confident pitch for his DIY sauna kit, but he's left Shaf Razul with one important question. Hi Vincent, I'm Shaf. Can Hello, you Shaf. tell me what size of an investment you're looking for? The investment that I am looking for is a £50,000 investment for a 40% equity share. First question, Vincent. Um, I presume you've done quite a lot of research on this, yeah? Yes, I've been researching for the last two years and we are still in research at the moment. Okay. I've purchased 50 uh, units and I have installed um, six units as demonstration units okay. that we're waiting for the feedback to come back on. You know, most showers I've seen are not enclosed. No, no. This, this is where the, the top of the unit, the top of the unit, they are, they are all open. This is, has to be retrofitted into the unit, so the step-by-step -step instructions would um, tell them how to seal the top of the unit to contain it. The other thing that's, that, comes, that strikes me straight away is, if that was fitted in a shower unit, you couldn't actually sit down. Yeah. You, you can buy additional seating. You can buy yeah, but seating that, that comes I mean, there. you couldn't sit down in that shower unit. It's absolutely impossible to sit down in there. I can guarantee I, can get a, I will get a seat in there. OK, I'll tell you what, why don't you pretend there's a wall-mounted seat in there and show, show me yourself yes. sitting there. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm 5 foot 10. I'm 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11. So, okay. basically... OK, now the seat... Sorry. If you can hear me, the seat is folded up on here. All right, so... So, if I was to there... As I say, I've got one the same size as this at home. That would just strike me as claustrophobic. The other thing that strikes me is um, a lot of people suddenly are members of gyms. Okay, most gyms have saunas, they have steam rooms. Okay, um, I don't understand why they wouldn't just use the sauna and the steam room in the gym. Okay, so every time every time that you're um, stressed or you come home from work, uh, from a hard day's work, you, you will go to the gym. This is a unit that fits in your own premises. Vincent has a lot of work to do if he's to convince Chef Razul that his homemade sauna is worth a £50,000 investment. Will he fare any better with Julie Meyer? I, I'm Julie, and I'd like to ask okay. you some questions about the setup because, you know, half your population um, are going to be people that maybe are, 
you know, not used to, you know, kind of setting up kit in their house all the time, are just not interested and so forth. How long do you think from start to finish until I, I, until I have steam and easy set up in my enclosed shower, if I have an enclosed shower? If you had a closed shower, the, the one that I actually designed in the first place, it took me um, an hour and a half to install. That was from start to finish. Okay. And I, that was done on my home, so it is, it is an easy kit to actually install. An hour and a half installation... So, Vincent, you've got six demo units yes. in your friends' and family's homes, is yes. that it? Yes. How long have they had them to review for you? They've had them installed for uh, about five months. Five months already? Yes. And, and have they been giving, giving you kind of feedback along the way? Posit- positive feedback every time. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely. And so and far, none of them had colds. Did they also set it up there? No, I actually went in there and I installed it to them um, because obviously people have different, uh, different types of setups, the baths, and um, so I've had to... But don't you think that, I mean, that's part of the customer experience is, is the setup. If people get frustrated or they can't get it set up, a lot of people don't, you know, have any clue as to kind of how to play around with the, the plumbing or put in things that have to be fitted and so forth. Don't you think you need some, some feedback on the setup as well as the positive experience? Yes, yeah, yeah I quite agree. But the, the setup, as I say, is anyone that can drill a hole. So it's really down to the DIY if you're enthusiast. If he can drill a hole, yeah. then he can have a sauna put into his unit. Okay, so That's as simple as it is. It's for people <coughs> who have enclosed showers or a garden who are DIY enthusiasts and or comfortable drilling holes and setting things up and so Correct. forth. Yeah. But if you have no desire to do DIY or drill holes... Give us a ring and we can arrange for an installation. You've got that, you've got that pr- as part of the package? Yes, is yes that, we can. It's yes, part of can. the It will be promise. an addition, additional fee. It will Addition- be an additional fee to come out, obviously, to install it for you. Julie Meyer has raised concerns about the installation of Vincent's sauna unit and Shaf Razul is ready to say where he stands. Vincent, normally at this stage I would actually be going through the numbers and looking at turnover, return on investment, all that sort of stuff. But I'm going to be honest with you, this product just doesn't do it for me. Okay. Okay, I'd much rather go to the gym. On that basis, I'm out. Shaf Razul has declared himself out. Vincent's last hope now lies with Julie Meyer. You know, Vincent, I think that it looks and it feels just a bit clunky, to be honest. I think you, you um, uh, maybe it's just a guy thing, but I think you'd be surprised at how many people might be enticed by the spa experience that you're offering and completely unprepared to do the do-it-yourself. Okay. So I... I I'd showcase that about exactly how you're going to help a customer with this, getting this installed a lot easier. That's the biggest kind of um, hurdle. And um, I, I just think there's a lot of kinks to, to kind of work out still. Okay. So um, uh, I think on that basis, Vincent, I think I'm out. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Vincent failed to persuade the Dragons to invest in Steam and Easy, and he leaves the den empty-handed. Do you know what? I didn't even want to do the numbers on that one. That looks like a torture device. Some people will get into that, but the, the do-it-yourself angle, he's just an hour and a half. If it took it an hour and a half for him, it'd be taking me a week, you know? Where did it go wrong for you, do you think? I believe the point I went off script. Um, obviously, I was trying to work to a script, but when you've got so much tense and atmosphere in there, it, it, it's very hard. Mm. Uh, sitting in front of these dragons, I mean, they, they are there to pressurise you. Personally, I, th- I think they've missed a trick because you don't see a shed with steam coming out of it every day in, in a garden <laughs> no. as well. So, I mean, th- that, that for me was one, one of the best moments of, of all the pictures we had sent in online, I think. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. just wasn't to be today. Unfortunately, not. Not they're lost. Not, not mine. Do you think they look like the type of dragons who would go to a, a spa and a steam room and all that sort of stuff? Um, not really. No, they're probably too busy to do that. My Joe Chef looks a little bit stressed because he's lost his hair. So wow. Well, so. <laughs> <My junior>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got, you've got to be careful what you say, obviously. <laughs>